Hi, beloved friends, your motivator, your Mastermind Alliance partner in the journey towards attaining success in life, that is progressively realizing the definite purpose of our destination of life. This may be worldly, ethereal, as well as the spiritual and the metaphysical controlling our mind, heart and soul and conquering both the worlds, external as well as internal. Today, this morning, beloved friends, I want to emphasize that you are the master of your fate and you are the captain of your soul. By virtue of the fact that the thought you choose and encourage in your mind and your mind is the master weaver both to the inner garment of your character and the outer garment of your circumstances. Means you are the maker of yourself. You are what you have thought about and you will be how you will thought and which direction your mind will lead you. If you really dwell in the purity of thought, the thought of greatness, grandness, success, prosperity, good health, you will be definitely getting the realization of all those thoughts, all those thinking into its physical form. Because every thought has the capability and ability if you really persevere and persist perennially to make it a physical appearance. As you have learned from Think and Grow Rich, Truly thoughts are things and powerful things are that when they are mixed with definition of purpose, persistence and burning desire for their translation into riches or other material subjects. And you have also heard, you never can tell what thought will do in bringing you hate and love. For thoughts are things and their airy wings are swifter than carrier dove. They follow the law of the universe and each thing must bring its kind. They speed over the track to bring you back whatever went out of your mind. But beloved friends, you are really the real actor, the builder of your character, the shaper of your life and the creator of your conditions, circumstances and environment. The seed of thought you are planting in your mind you are really authorized and you are vesting yourself with the power to reap that kind of harvest only. So remember another poem which is very inspiring. One ship drives east, another drives west with the self same wind that blows. It is the set of the cells and not the girls which tells us the way to go. Like the winds of seas are the ways of fate as we voyage along through life, it is the set of the souls that decides the goals and not the calm and strife. Beloved friends, a positive thought will bring you positive result. A negative thought will bring you negative result. Beloved friends, so if you are really an enlightened person, a wise person, you will always focus your mind on positive mental attitude, that is thinking about health consciousness, success consciousness, Love consciousness, purity consciousness, serenity, poise, so that every moment you will breathe very easy, comfortable, cheerfully, happily, joyfully in the serene environment where there is abundance of all opulence, peace, prosperity, growth and success. So for this you have to do meditation, contemplation, dwelling on such thoughts perennially, continually, and then you will be really enlightened, you will get the wisdom and you will be free from ignorance and selfishness. You will follow the path of truth and justice. You will never be deviating from peace, love and non-violence. That will be your creed of life. And then all glory, name, fame, fortune will be your followers at your footsteps. Beloved friends, as being a motivator, I talk different languages, but please permit me to present before you some of the quotes from the great poets in Hindi, also the great poets in English, and also in Greeks, 
Latins, but I'm very confident that I will translate them in English so that my lot of friends, fans all over the world can understand that. Today I recite two verses from a great poet from India, Kabir Das. He says, Jin khoza tin paaya, gahre paani pat. Jin khoza tin paaya, gahre paani pat. Jo bhaura du ban raha, raha kinare bat. Dear friends, meaning is, those who sought, they found it with a burning and intense desire because what they were seeking, that was the obsession of their life. That was so important for them as the water is important for a fish. A fish out of water can never survive. That way the person was so much striving, seeking and finding the various means and ways to really get what he want. Jin khoza tin paaya, gahre paani pat. The walls of granite are always there. Gahre paani means he fish in the troubled water. He has to overcome all difficulties, hindrances, obstacles, impediments because these reverses of positions are really inevitable. Temporary defeats are also inevitable. Failures are also the stepping stones in the ladder of success. So Gahre Pani Pat means he has to face all those oppositions, all these hindrances very boldly, very courageously because that person always believes being an equal temper of heroic heart and they never yield before any kind of oppositions, reverses and resistance. Jin khoza tin paaya gahre paani pat jo bhaura du ban dara raha kinare bat. But those who permitted fear and doubts, procrastination, hesitation, discouragement, disappointment, they could never move an inch and they failed in their life. Beloved friends, such a powerful poem. Jo bhaura du ban dara raha kinare bat. You know, those who have conquered fear and doubts, frustration, discouragement and have a will to win and a personal initiative and determination of a bulldog. Once they put the teeth in, they never shake. They just get what they want in life. Beloved friends, such a great poem was that. Another in that series, Man ke haare haar hai, man ke jite jeet. Kahe Kabir Guru Paiye Mani Ke Pratit. Beloved friends, here is the meaning. It is the mind. Man Ke Hare Har Hai. A man first gets defeated in his mind. That is, the man lives behind him a covered eyes, a timid, a very, very miserable and depravable personality. He loses his heart. His brain starts fusing. When he sees the positions and resistances and reverses in life, but a brave, valiant man tests up death but once and he never retreat. He has burned the breezes. He has burned his ships. He knows only one word, victory or death. Win or perish. There is no regret. By regret we cannot win the war. Those who battles for victory, they venture defeat. But the coward, all of a sudden surrender before the first appearance of an opposition. Man ke haare haar hai, man ke jite jeet. Means the person who has lost in the mind, he is a real loser. And the person, despite of all kinds of oppositions, he has met all those troubles face to face. And when he has faced even the worst, despite all that he can do, he has refused to beguile, to surrender. Nobody can stop such persons from becoming the person of his dream. Man ke haare haar hai, man ke jite jeet. Kahe kabir guru paaye, man hi ke pratit. Beloved friends, that great poet Kabir says that your mind is the reflection of your power of personality. And James Allen wrote very strongly, about the power of your mind. Mind is the master power that molds and makes 
and man is mind, and if a more he takes the tools of thought and shaping what he wills, brings forth a thousand joys and thousand ills. Man thinks in secret, but comes to pass, the environment is but his looking glass. Honorable friends, respectable, promising youths, and all the great gentlemen and ladies. You see here, all the great brains echoes in the same voice. Courage, conviction, willpower, determination, daring, persistence, burning desire. These are the essentials for greatness and success. So, it is not the losing the battle or vagar, but losing the heart. If a person has lost his heart, he has lost the battle. But a person who never loses his heart, his mind is very determined, committed, dedicated. He will never be defeated in his life. He will be always glorified. You know the story of that great Julius Caesar. Once he wanted to defeat the Britishers on their own soil in an island. His soldiers were afraid to fight the British soldiers. So he has an idea and to execute that wonderful plan. He loaded all his equipment soldiers in a ship and he set sail for the destination of that island. When he reached the shore of that island, he unloaded all his equipment soldiers, everybody else and burned his ships, burned the bridges, burned the boats, and addressed his commanders, and said, Look, gentlemen, brave hearts, now we have burned all the sources which can make us back to our pavilion. We have burned all the bridges, boats, and ships. We cannot go back unless we kill those enemies, be victorious and conquer and win the battle. Then only we have chance to go back to our native place. Means he has sealed all the doors for retreat. Beloved friends, and the soldiers, when seeing that there is no way out, there is only a way to fight for the life and defeat the enemies and die a valiant death. And when somebody has such a gigantic willpower, who can defeat such brave soldiers? They massacred the British soldiers they won the battle and they came back happily. Beloved friends, if you want to be a victor, if you want to be a conqueror, you should have never a retreat in your life. You must take the challenges, you must take the risk. You burned all your bridges, you burned all your ships and boats and focus your mind on that particular goal. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can achieve for you, it is only your limitations. You can think small and become a small. A small, if you can think gigantically big and you can become great, that is only the limitations your, you can acknowledge. But God gifted great equipment of your brain, knows no boundary, no no limitations. Of course, you have not wings, you cannot soar in the sky, but you have feet to scale and climb. The cloudy summits of your time by slow degrees and more and more, beloved friends. So that is the real meaning, what I want to convey you. And I also tell you, if you are a brave heart, nothing is impossible for you. But you will be tested many times before you are coming flying colors and you will be becoming victorious and you are being glorified. So the test of a man is the fight he makes. The greed that he daily shows, the way he stands on his feet, and takes life in numerous bumps and blows. Coward can smile when there is not to fear and nothing his progress bears. But it takes a man, but it takes a man to rise and cheer when some other fellow stars. It is not the victory after all that a fight that a brother makes, a man when driven against the wall. He still stands erect on his feet. He still stands erect on his feet and takes life in numerous bumps and blows, which is his head is still held high, bleeding, frozen pale, is the man who will win, though fate defied, for he is not afraid to fail. He is not afraid to fail, beloved friends. That is the real meaning of that life. That is the real 
story of greatness and success. Be a brave man, be a great man, never be timid, never be afraid, take the bull by the horn, your courage, your conviction, your belief, your faith, because you love your purpose in life. Maybe spiritual purpose like Buddha, Christ or Confucius, or maybe the worldly possessions you want like Alexander the Great, Napoleon the Great, Ashoka the Great, all these greats, they really never believe in themselves, have faith in themselves, and they have a definite purpose in life. And what can resist? The silent, unconquerable, invictus, definite and fixed purpose of life. Because, as you said, Disraeli said, everything will come to you if you patiently just wait for that. And a human being with subtle purpose must accomplish it. Because such a great determined person will stake even his existence for the attainment of his definite purpose in life. So you will be successful. That is assurance and guarantee I am giving you. But you have to be a brave man. God has given you energy, enthusiasm, the bulldog determination, the conviction, the belief and faith. And you have been told the principle of success. Just desire, decide, have faith, persistently, patiently strive, seek and find the various means and ways with a practical plan of action in the group of the best brains and yours is the earth and everything that's in it and which is more, you are a successful, great man, happy and prosperous, cheerful friend of mine. I thank you and love you. May God bless you. Be inspired. Be motivated. This life is a short journey. You have to be happy. You have to be cheerful. You have to be enjoying every moment of your life. Make your heart pure. Make your mind filled with noble and great ideas. And slowly and steadily, you will be glorifying yourself. All the world are men to conquer and to rule. This is the glory of your life, but its iron laws are stringent. You must school yourself in a very disciplined way. Here begins and ends all the strife. And I love you and thank you very much. Be great. Fill your mind with noble, pure, great thoughts, fully saturated, determined, committed, motivated, inspired, even to scale the highest mountains, even to rise the most glorified place which no one has done. And nobody even can dream, but you can do it because I believe on you. And you know, life's battle don't always go to the stronger, the faster man. But sooner or later, the one who wins is the one who thinks one can. And you are such a brave heart, you will definitely do it, whatever you want. Right, brothers did it. Columbus did it. Copernicus did it. Buddha did it. Christ did it. Marconi did it. Edison did it. Henry Ford did it. Why not you can do it? You have the same equipment. The courage must come from the soul within. And the will to win must be your creed. Slowly and steadily. Climbing towards the climax, the glory, and the honor, and the pride, and all the peace, happiness, prosperity will welcome you. Master of human destinies I am, fame, love and fortune, on my footstep wait. Beloved friends, that is your fate. Everything waits at your doorstep. Be brave, be courageous, be motivated, be inspired. You are great. I believe in you and I believe in my message which I am giving you. You can do it, but Control your mind, direct your mind towards the attainment of your definite purpose. And also have tremendous belief and faith in your prayer. Prayer with faith and belief. O oh, Divine Providence, I ask all the twelve riches and also ask you the power to bless me so that I can really take full possession of your mind and control and direct it towards the attainment 
of the supreme goal of my life, which will be used to serve the millions and millions of people on this earth, and I will get glory, and I will get satisfaction, and I will be enjoying every moment when I see every tear is wiped from the eyes of the millions of people, when I see the smiles on the millions of faces, and my compensation will be just the happiness and satisfaction of the millions. I want nothing. I want nothing. I want to give everything else. So give me abundance of wisdom and knowledge as you gave to Buddha, as you gave to Christ, and as you gave to Confucius. Let me pro, let me play the role of such great man who graced the planet Earth and really emancipated the mankind from sorrow, suffering, grief, and pain. And bless them with the power to illuminate the ignorant heart, mind, and soul of the people. That is the real meaning of life which I want to cherish and which you also emulate. That is the purpose of your life. To be happy and make millions more happier than yourself. Just believe in giving, giving, selflessly. That is your passion. That is your burning desire. That is your intention. That is your right view of the world. That is a proper understanding of your purpose in life and the very purpose of the mankind who are on this planet Earth. Thank you, and I love you, and you love the entire humanity.